Welcome to the combat tutorial for Storyteller. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up a combat encounter. When your players land on a combat encounter space, you draw a card from the combat encounter deck. On the front of this card, you have some text and some story phase modifiers. So whether you're in the beginning, the middle or the end, depends on what enemies you're fighting. If we say we're in the beginning, we'll be fighting three zombies. If we're in the middle, three agile zombies. If we're in the end, three armored zombies. So, because the principles are the same, I'll look through the enemy deck and find three zombies. There we are, those are our boys. So we put one there, one there, and one there. Now, what we want to do is set up the HP and defense first. So we've got HP of 12 and a defense of 3. So these guys are pretty tricky. We take some of these counters. I've got 10 counters. Numbered 10. Numbered 1. So that's 10 plus the two ones. That's for 12 total HP. And then they have three defense. So I'll take three defense tokens and put them next to them as well. Now this doesn't have to be neat. You can do it however you want because hopefully your adventurers are going to be taking these guys out fairly quickly. So that's how we set up the encounter with the HP and defense. Next, we want to decide turn order. So turn order is decided by rolling a d6. For these guys, they've got an agility of two. All of them are the same. So every time we roll for agility, we roll a d6. Zombie one gets an agility of two, plus two, equaling four. Zombie two gets the same, and zombie three gets five. So zombie three will be going first, if we can find the enemy three token. Then enemy one and two, you can put them however you want. And the players will do the same. So, the mage, for example, has an agility of 10. So we roll a d6 for him. That's 13. So the mage will actually go before the zombies. And that is how we set up a combat encounter. And you can do the same for bosses too. So let's remove the middle zombie. Keep these set up so you know what they look like. And put our boss right in the middle. So our boss, as you can see, would have 36 HP and five defense in the beginning. So three 10 counters, one five counter, and one one counter, and then five defense. It's as simple as that.